Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can use rosemary and vapor rub for crazy high growth. Now, you heard it right, guys vapor rub. So, if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching and please watch till the end of the video so you get to hear all of the instructions and also learn how to make this. Now, if you're interested, let's hop right into the video. So, to begin with, you are going to need a little pan in which you'll be adding some freshly cut rosemary leaves i've got this from my grocery store but if you've got dry rosemary guys it's fine to use that as well so pop that in your pan next we're going in with some rapeseed oil you can use avocado oil grapeseed oil or even coconut oil if that's all that you've got available now i will suggest not using olive oil in this particular manner just because of the fact that we will be ad adding direct heat to this so if you are to use um, olive oil, please do the double boiler method because that will help you retain most of the nutrients in the oil. Next, I'm going in here with some coconut oil. I didn't have a lot of this left, so I'm just going to work with what I have. But if I had more guys, I would have added one tablespoon of coconut oil. Now, as far as the rapeseed oil is concerned, I just eyeballed it. So use as much or as little as you need to, depending on how much rosemary you have. So after that, we're going to pop the whole thing on the stove and then allow it to just simmer for just a little bit, guys. You don't want to leave it for too long. Just when you start to notice that the rosemary leaves are getting a bit crispy and starting to change a bit of colour, it's fine to completely take it off the stove. So just like you can see here, it is definitely starting to dry up a bit and it's releasing most of its nutrients in the oil. Like I said, if you're using olive oil, please do the double boiler method instead. So you can put a pan on the stove, add water and then place the bowl in which you have the rosemary and the coconut and olive oil into it and place it into the pan basically and allow it to boil that way that just saves you um, oxidizing the oil and losing its nutrients but if you're using exactly what I'm doing here it's okay to pop it on the stove for about three minutes so after that has finished notice that the leaves are pretty sort of dry and also a bit darker in color. So I'm, I took that off the stove and I just transferred it into a mason jar. Next, we're going in with some vapor rub. So this I got from um, just a regular store where I live, but you can find this on Amazon as well or eBay um, if you haven't got it. This is the vapor rub that you use on your children, for example, when they've got a cold. Um, so I will be adding one teaspoon of vapor rub but again you can use more if you want to but just bear in mind that if you're adding more vapor rub guys you will have a more solid kind of uh, texture to this once it has completely cooled down. Now at this point my oil is still a little bit warm which makes it easier to melt the vapor rub um, into the oil. But if you have allowed yours to cool down, perhaps because, you know, it's dangerous to work with something that's hot. So I will suggest you allow it to cool down, guys, if you're not really confident because I don't want you guys to get burned. So you want to transfer the oil, then add the vapor rub and then do a slight double boiler method again. So you can just put, place the mason jar in a pot of warm water without necessarily having to put it on the stove and just allow the vapor rub to melt in the oil that way so after everything has melted and really nice and combined i'm now adding some tea tree essential oil and this has great benefits when it comes to providing antibacterial properties for the scalp area and it can also help in increasing the blood flow to the scalp which can help to promote new high growth so i added i think it's about 15 uh, drops or about 10 drops of um, the tea tree oil so again you can vary this based on your preference and also how much oil you're working with so after stirring this is what we have left behind because it's still warm it's in its liquid form now when this has completely cooled down it gets a little bit solid just like you can see here so it's not it's not terribly solid but it is definitely solid um but it melts really well once you rub it in the palm of your hand so next we're going to go ahead and show you guys how you can use this and also talk about how i use it for my hair 
Now my hair right now is in desperate need of a wash. It is really dirty. My scalp has a lot of buildup from products and also from um, you know just working out and all the sweat and all of that stuff. So it definitely does need washing. So um, I will be applying this to my scalp, my edges, and basically just you know throughout. And then obviously I will go ahead and I'll wash this out of my hair just because my hair is in need of a wash. But you can apply this and leave it in your hair guys without necessarily having to wash it out if you want to. But just bear in mind because it is slightly thicker than your regular oil, it can give you scalp build up if you use it very very often so i would say once a week will be a really good time to use this if you're trying to minimize build up but still reap the benefits and you don't have to apply too much of it on your scalp so just a little will go a long way so just like you're noticing here i'm applying it throughout um, my scalp and my edges just like i said now you can also apply this throughout the rest of your hair um, if you want to but just like I said guys just bear in mind because it's viscous it will um, definitely make your, your hair quite oily so once you apply this to the scalp you do have a slight tingling sensation and that is great just because we've used tea tree essential oil we've got rosemary and also the vapor rub um, it gives you that tingling sensation on the scalp and that can help improve the blood flow to the area which means it brings more oxygen, more nutrients to the follicles and can help with stimulating new hair growth. Now, after applying it throughout my scalp, I'm going to go ahead and give my scalp a good massage. So I will be using the tip of my fingers to do this, guys. But if you've got a scalp massaging brush, please feel free to use that because you know it's just as beneficial but obviously if you haven't got one just like I don't um, use the tip of your fingers to do it around my edges I tend to use the palm of my hand just because I don't know I don't want to be too rough around that area given it's you know a bit sensitive but anyways so that's what I'll do and then I'm going to go and shampoo my hair as I would normally and just carry on with my wash day routine so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching please if you did don't forget to thumbs up the video also please subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already i would also appreciate it if you could share this video with somebody you believe could learn something or benefit from it and um, yeah i will catch you guys in the next one if you have any questions i'm um, in the comment section so see you next time thanks for watching until next time guys bye